Welcome to AFES, the two-week intensive course that we organize every summer over here. My name is Devarati Guhasapir. I'm Professor of Epidemiology at the University of Louvain. As you know that humanitarian workers these days are increasingly involved in rather technical work and need to have competences that are quite specialized. And these include in the public health sector, epidemiology, statistical techniques, data collection, and other skills like that. So in order to fill that gap, we have here at CRED started this two-week intensive course, which trains the humanitarian workers in many of these skills. Hi, I am Maria, a medical doctor from Portugal but I have also worked in Mozambique, Brazil, and India, and I have a deep understanding of working conditions for many of us. As a former AFIS coordinator, I have seen how this course covers a lot of public health topics that are central, such as epidemiology, nutrition, reproductive health. It also it makes sure that you have thorough grounding in methods and techniques that will be very helpful in the field. Our faculty have a solid background in all sorts of techniques and a lot of experience in the field. We have faculty from different kinds of organizations which include Médecins Sans Frontières, the, our own university here, the Université Catholique de Louvain in Brussels, but also for example the Royal Institute of the Tropics in Amsterdam. Apart from those sessions that are more focused on the content, we also have more practical sessions which are focusing on GIS, on epidemiology, but also on survey and sampling techniques. Of course, AFES is not only about the training. Brussels is a beautiful city, especially during the summer. Faculty and students have a nice time to enjoy the nice food and the variety of Belgian beer. On top of that, the chocolate, which is well known in all over the world, it is waiting for you guys. Nice. I'm Pascaline, I'm your GIS tutor, and I'm really looking forward to see you. So you can register for the course following the address or you can send us an email. See you soon.